At this point, I've been programming in Python for around three years, and yesterday while I was scrolling through the documentation, I learned something completely new that I just did not understand, and this has to do with tuple comparison and list comparison. I mean, to keep things simple, if you have a tuple of one, two, and you say that is equal to one, two, and we actually print this result, of course, you're going to get back that this is true because these both contain the exact same values. But something interesting that I saw in the documentation was using tuple comparison with the more than or equal operator. And I was thinking, how could you compare a tuple in that sense? I've never seen the more than or equal to operator being used with one tuple and another. So the example I saw in the documentation was just checking that the system.version info was more than or equal to Python 3.11. So as you can see, this is a tuple. It's not written out as a decimal or a string. It's written out as a tuple. So what I'm going to explain to you now is how you can compare tuples and lists using the more than or equal to, the more than or just any comparison operator. Because again, we're probably very familiar with how we can use the equal to operator to check that a list or a tuple is equal to another list or a tuple. But to get started, let's create two tuples. So inside print, another parentheses, and we're going to have one and two, which is more than one and two. So we have a simple comparison here. And if we run that, we're going to get false because they are exactly the same. But as soon as we change this to two, we're going to get true. So what is happening here? How does this actually work under the hood? Well, when you compare a tuple or a list, it checks each element one by one. So it checks the tuple at the index of zero against the other tuple at the index of zero. And if that passes, it moves on to the next element. As soon as this becomes false, so if we have, let's say two, 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 and here we add another two. So as soon as we have one that evaluates to true, such as this, it's going to stop and it's going to say, okay, this is more than the other one. So here we can rerun the program and two, two, two is more than two, one, two. Even if we add 100 here, it's going to evaluate to true because it's going to stop at the second comparison as soon as it becomes true. And you can use this with any kind of comparison operator. So you can use the more than or equal to or the less than or equal to. So you can use all the basic comparison operators to check between tuples, whether they are the same or not. And the same thing goes for a list. So if we convert this to a list and we convert this other one to a list as well, oops, there we go. We will have the same kind of comparison. So it checks that element one is more than or equal to element one. Then it does the same thing for element two and element three. So let's change this back to two and this back to two. And let's change this to three. And you'll see it will turn to false because the first element is checking against the first element. And as soon as that returns false, it stops and says, and says, okay, this is not more than or equal to the other list. It doesn't even bother to check the other ones. But if we type in two and we add, let's say a three in the middle, we're still going to get false as a return because as soon as it checks these two, it says, okay, there's no point in checking further. Two is not more than or equal to three. So finally, let's go to the example I saw in the documentation. So here we have system. And if the system version info is more than or equal to 311, then we're going to print, you are running Python 3.11 or higher, else we're going to print that your version of Python is outdated. So we just make sure that the user is using the correct version of Python, or we tell them it's not going to work. And to see if this actually works, we're going to change it to Python 3.10. And as soon as we run the script, you'll see that your version of Python is outdated because the system.version info is not 3.11 or and above. We can also print the system info by typing in system.version info. So you can see exactly what you're getting back in the tuple. So here we have three and 10. And we can also change it to 3.9. And as soon as we rerun the script, this will change to 3.9.9. And my version of Python will still be outdated. But as soon as we change it to 3.11, you'll see you are running Python 3.11 or higher. But anyways, I just found that very interesting because again, it was three years that I've been programming in Python without knowing this. I actually have never used this. I haven't found a use case for this, but as soon as I ran into this part here, I found it super interesting because I just because I just didn't have any idea on how tuple comparison worked 
or how list comparison worked. Because having one list equal to another or one tuple equal to another makes sense. But having one that's greater than or equal to another just changed my world. But anyways, guys, let me know if you found that interesting or if you have any other interesting facts about tuples or lists or features that you can use with them that aren't that common. And with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.